And so the fourth way we can compute a limit algebraically is by using rationalization. And so this is useful for complex functions that look very messy at first. So let's say that we're asked to evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of a function x over the square root of x plus 1 minus 1. What we can do by rationalization is multiply the top and bottom by the same expression. And so here I'm going to multiply the bottom by the square root of x plus 1 plus 1. And I'll multiply the top by that same number, x plus 1 plus 1. So if I multiply these together, I get the following expression. This is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of x times the square root of x plus 1 plus 1, and we'll put these in parentheses, divided by, let's go ahead and combine these two bottom terms, and we get x plus 1 minus 1. You guys are probably getting the hang of this now. You can simplify this, so the limit as x approaches 0 of x times square root of x plus 1 plus 1 over x. We notice that the two x's here can go ahead and cancel out, and so we're left with that this is equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of our function square root x plus 1 plus 1. This is easy enough for us to plug and chug into, so we're going to go ahead and plug our 0 into our x value here and say that this is equal to square root of 0 plus 1 plus 1, which of course is going to be equal to square root of 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2.